Good evening. Hope you've had a fantastic weekend with the weather report coming your way early in advance. And this is Kata CEO of Uganda National Meteorological Authority together with UBC. I'm Kenyana Molen. Well, we've been seeing a continuation of wet weather activities. And when you look at Uganda today, most places have had cloudy conditions with light showers prevailing over a few places and other areas have had a few sprinkles, especially during the afternoon. When you look at the satellite loop over Africa, it shows that there is a frontal system which is a low pressure zone extending from the tip of South Africa over to the Indian Ocean and this has weakened the high pressure center over the Indian Ocean though we are still benefiting from the high pressure center in the north that is pushing towards our country and also the high pressure center over the Atlantic Ocean that is St. Helena that has pushed the Congo air mass more towards our region and this is the rainmaker for the western sector of our country but let's look at Monday's weather forecast in the morning it's going to be a bright sun sunny morning for the northern eastern sector and central but with intervals of cloudy conditions otherwise the Lake Victoria Basin is likely to have thunder showers and also along the western stretch it is expected to have light showers in the course of the afternoon we shall see thunder showers for most parts of the country apart from the northern sector that is likely to experience light showers moving on to the temperatures they're likely to go up to 27 degrees centigrade for Kampala and for the Karamoja region temperatures will go up to 30 degrees centigrade and for Kabale Highlands temperatures are likely to go up to 25 degrees centigrade if you're likely to move in some cities selected across Africa, Lagos, Dhaka, Bujumbura, Luanda, and also Johannesburg are likely to experience thunder showers, whereas most other cities in the continent will be sunny for Khartoum temperatures will go up to 38 degrees centigrade. And now for the rest of the world, Dubai and New Delhi are likely to experience sunny conditions. For Rome and New York, they're expected to have sunny intervals and for London it will have showers. That is the report we've had for today and for this month since we're expecting a reduction in wet activities you should use this period to clear up drainage channels to prevent water logging. Stay tuned to UBC and have a great night.